Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. I want to show you something. I, I get asked a lot of times. I, I'll refer to something I'm saying, yeah, I'm doing a master for it. And people don't understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you a master. So this is a master for a, it was a dart, legal dart, super stock head. So you can see, you know, the other ones are, as cast so all i do is i concentrate on making one port the best that i can so you can see in this particular how the it was raised how the floor gets raised so this when i get the head and a, a, a new head i'll put the epoxy in the floor i'll put the epoxy in the back of the uh, bowl i'll show you that and then we cut it with the epoxy in it <coughs> excuse me uh, they're a little, uh, they come out a little big, so then we have to machine it to get them back into legal, vol legal volume, which is 172 cc's. <coughs> Excuse me. So this particular head is 165 cc's from Dart. So you could go in there and make this bigger, make it legal, but that's going to flow way more air. So like I said, I concentrate on doing one port. Get some light on it. So you can see that that this this is totally finished. It hasn't been angle milled. It hasn't been cut to legal cc's yet. So that's something I do after I get them back from CNC. So this head, after it got cut, it would get angle milled, flat milled, and then um, and it would come into spec. So you can see how see the epoxy in it. So all of that will stay. This little notch right here is from. Uh, I freshen the valve job with a stone, and when I hit it, it hits that, so that gets fixed. So here's what I do on the exhaust, because this, this particular head, it's going to need to be brazed, and it's not cheap. It's like a grand to braze up the floor, then they get cut. So all of my work, design work and whatnot, I just do with epoxy. So you can see that it's got epoxy on the floor. Let me turn it around here, and you can get a better look at it. Put this underneath here. Hold on. So you can see the floor and everything's filled with epoxy. So, you know, when I, when I get it, this will be braised. So it'll, it won't, uh, no, the epoxy won't run. Uh, but you can see how the exhaust port gets worked. Um, they have to be, this is probably 65 cc's. So you can see, uh, it's got some, got some epoxy inside the bowl into the seat. All of that's there gets digitized with the epoxy in the head that you're going to run you don't have to do anything to but make it legal so give me some short side look here you can also see uh it's got some epoxy on the floor um so i mean it's just uh, the epoxy is the best way to do it because it's easier to shape uh than, than grinding on metal and uh, uh it, you can digitize it so you can see inside there how the roof is opened up and there you can get a good side by side from stock. So I'm going to say this port probably flows with a 194, 270 range. This stock port with a 194 probably flows 230 range. So it's smaller, faster, flows more air than even that port. So that's a master. I've got a bunch of them. I've said it before. I've got probably 45 or 46 programs at Jason at Performance CNC. He's done all my work for the last 18 years. Um, so I have different uh, uh, CNC programs for different heads. People ask me, why don't you own a machine? I don't have time. I'd have to hire someone full time. I don't want to do that. Uh, it's got to be running 24 seven to pay for it. Um, I know I spend a lot of extra money with Jason, but Jason treats me fair. Him and I think a lot alike. I help him, he helps me, it's a win-win. <coughs> excuse me so like i said just wanted to take a little time let's see a good shot of the chamber show you what i got going on what is referred to as a master port this head i will save i have a shelf over here of all of my masters and it'll stay around until i retire so just thought i'd show you there's how you get a hold of me I'm really hammered right now, fighting a little bit of health issues with my thumb and my shoulder and my elbow, and I'm trying to work myself out. I'm trying to work all this um, stuff I have here. Um, 
iron's going to be going away in the future. I uh, just can't do it anymore. So thanks to each and every one of you, and I will talk to you later.